The raincoat is going on. This is the Irish summer now that I'm used to in the raincoat. Welcome to this week's garden video. Last week I was saying how I left the garden for a couple of days. I went off to sunny Spain and I did say, Mother Nature, please mind me garden and give us a bit of rain while I'm away. Well, I apologise to the people in Ireland because we got a lot of rain. <laughs> I had prayed for that. I had manifested it. Thank you, the garden is in one piece. If I am, it looks better than when I left it. In this video, oh, I really wanted to cut the grass, but it's raining, look at me sunflowers. Um, I actually got some plants with a bit of autumnal color. You saw last week, I cut back the hardy geraniums, the purple ones, to see if they'll come again. No sign of life, but it's only been a week. I went to the garden center yesterday and I got another Shasta daisy. I got some, I got a geum. I don't know if that's how I'm saying right, a, a geum. Um, I saw one at Bloom and the girl was like, they're like um, very similar to hardy geraniums as in you get all season out of them, they're great. Um, I got a few more, I'm not even gonna try to say names, I'll just give you a little haul when I'm outside. And remember last week I was saying in the nature section, the girl was saying to plant in groups of threes. So I went back and I got twos of the plants that I already have to kind of make them look a bit fuller because my front border is looking a bit gappy now since I cut back the geraniums. I deadheaded all the roses and there's no roses coming up yet. So I'd say it might be a couple of weeks, well, maybe two or three weeks before I get some more roses. So um, yeah front border lacking a little something something so I spent another 50 quid on perennials. I think that's what we're gonna do. Also have some ladybugs in the garden. So remember last week I was saying about the aphids and the dahlias. So this side in this border there was some ladybugs and I just picked them up, brought them over to the dahlias. So hopefully we have a little bit of balance in the garden. I'm just delighted that I was able to attract some ladybugs in. Hopefully they stick around, eat all my aphids. Happy days. We can have a walk around the garden, but first let's get planted. Well, hello, Mr. Toffee. A um, couple of questions. Uh, when Toffee appears in videos, he lives next door. And you like to pop in, don't you? He likes to give me a little headbutt. And give me a little, he has a little sniff and then he lets you pet him. <laughs> that is Toffee, not my cat, but likes to come in. Also, look at the size of the sunflowers this week. There's loads of them and they are full, full of bees. They're the ones that are drooping down. They're the ones that are starting to kind of like die off. Um, so I just let them go to seed. Little bit of growth with cabbages from when I planted them and then sprouts and loads more fullness in the border with snapdragons. Um, this is a zinnia, how pretty is this? I planted them from seed, but I definitely learned some lessons. They're a bit wonky on the base, but they're looking good. Lovely cut flower. Um, this, I think, is a sunflower. They're literally coming out my arse. Uh, and, ah, uh, yes. So, where's my ladybug friends? I brought some of the ladybugs over. I think it was this one. And they lit, oh, here's the rain, I have to put my hood up. The ladybugs just started eating straight away. So I was like, yes. So we sh shall see, maybe in a few weeks, these might not look as chomped. Here's me in my raincoat. Apologies if you can hear the rain. Although it's kind of better to plant plants in the rain, isn't it? Because at least you know that soil is good. They're, well, I'll hide under a tree for a minute. So this is my loot. I got, I'll get closer and I'll go through the names, but I got some Rubecchia um, and other Shasta daisies looking good. And I just want to kind of fill up the gaps now. This is Rubecchia that was in my border anyway. And it's starting to come up, but the geranium was kind of blocking some light from it. So with that being cut back, that's where the hardy geranium was. This kind of has more light. So these come back every year and I think some of them have self-seeded because I planted them years ago so that's grand so I have some Rebecca here this chap down the end is has like a yellow head on it and it opens around about September time don't know what it is actually I got it from like my neighbor's garden so it actually has some buds on it I might actually open 
sooner. Around about like August, September, it gives me like a burst of colour. Also, the borage that I planted, I don't know if you can see all the bees on it. So literally like a month ago, I popped in some borage seeds into the tire and it has shot up. And there's even some other ones growing down here. And it is full of bees, which makes me so happy. I don't know if you can see these guys, but look, love watching the bees. So let's go through my little haul. So this is a Shasta Daisy, similar to the one I have here. Mine is much smaller. So I'll have to deadhead what's on that. So I got this to just go behind the other one just to give it a bit of fullness. I got three of these Rebecca's. So I'll have another clump of them. So one, two, and the third one's at the back. Then I got three of these. These are Coriop hang on, Coriopsis, Coriopsis. I've seen people talk about these on Gardener's World and I just bought them for the lovely, oh sorry, the lovely like orangey like head on them for a, a little burst of like late summer colour. And what's this one? Oh yeah, this is another Estrantia. I got two more of these. I have an Estrantia over here and I'm going to plant the two other Estrantias around them so that looks like a bigger kind of clump. This guy at the back is a geum and that has an orange flower on it as well and with the yellow, the orange of this, the orange of the Rebecca, the yellow of the plant down here, this should give me a bit of a yellowy orangey kind of like autumnal kind of colour. So I now just need to figure out where I'm going to plant them. I actually ended up doing a bit of tree trimming. So popped in clump of Rebecca here and I just trimmed back some of the trees because as you can tell, her drain Annabelle is not happy. I am probably going to move this, but I'll just wait until it dies back um, in autumn to move it. It has just never been happy since it's been there. The one down there is doing much better. So I'm thinking it's something to do with the light. So, cause I know it's actually, this one here was grown squiggly and up. So I was like, okay, maybe it needs some light. So that is what I did. So clump of Rebecca here. And then Miss Blandy. I have, what else did I put in? Rebecca. Hang on, I didn't put anything there. Ah, yes, the orange. So there'll be every little bit, there'll be a bit of autumnal colour. So pop that one there. Shasta Daisy couple more of them that like Estrantias. 
never think of the name. And then back there, there'll be Rebecca. So there'll be plenty of color. These are just a dream. <laughs> Loving these and um, because the weather is warm. I reckon you might get away with throwing some seed down. You might get some um, What's it called? Borage. You might get some borage. Love these. They're just quite fun So I love how this border it's still looking quite cottagey. I didn't want it to be like too perfect but Yeah, it'd be nice now when I get a second flush off the roses. There is some buds Kind of starting to go on this one. The one down there might go again so Yes, I'm quite happy, quite cottagey, and there's a bit of height, and um, there is definitely still some gaps, but the likes of, I think this is a, oh, I can't remember the name of this pink thing, there is a couple of plants that I will divide next year, so I've kept some gaps in the soil so I can like divide this plant, put another one there type thing. But yeah, the sun has come out as well, a bit of sunshine. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna Now, a little potato update There is spots in here, so let's take I'm gonna take one bag And let's see how many potatoes I can get from one bag. I hope there's a good bit in them now. Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. spuds and I'm sure if I went into the wheelbarrow I might find a bit more not bad now like I don't think I'd be make a good like spud farmer but we do have four more bags three yeah four more bags so that's not bad like I'd feed myself on that I've water all over my face master and washing my hands with the hose delighted with my spuds 21 a few little bambinis little Spanish potatoes I think they are I don't know what they are but look at the size of that one This one, fresh. I need to find a young fella now who'll cook these for me and turn me little harvest into a feast. That's all I can kind of do in the garden today because I really want to cut the grass, but wet. And then anything else is just deadheading and it's a bit boring. So I'm going to end it on that note. Let me know. Also, my potatoes were the first early ones, so they were planted in Patrick's Day. Um, they're not main crop, so they don't store as well, so I'm gonna have to give pretty much half of my feast away, but this do me all winter, lads. I get such a buzz from it, like, it's just magic. So, on that note, have you harvested anything? What has gotten you giddy in the garden this week? If you're new to our channel, you've just stumbled across this video. I upload a garden video every Sunday, and hit the subscribe button, and check back in on a Sunday evening. And for my regulars, cheeky thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.